Captain of this tub. What's it to you? I'm Skellige bound. Need to get there. Start swimming. Islanders, the black ones, all attackers in those waters. No one sails the route these days. Come on. Clans are ready to deal. Leave you alone if you do. Someone's done it. Gotta have. Not likely. Except maybe that daft bastard Wolverston from the Atropos. A liar, a thief, and a bugger, that one. He might have parlayed with the sea swine. Hmm. Where can I find him? In a pigsty most times. Others, the golden sturgeon. Ask for Flask, everyone knows him. Captain of the Atropos. So you want to know if I'm Atropos, Captain of the Wolverston? No fucking clue, mate. I need to get to Skellige. My Atropos and me. We're due to sail for our Skellige. Carrying grain. But that's our shush. Got any coin? Let's go. Ah, first, we must drink to the wind, to good fortune, and to the strength of my Atropos. <sighs> Anchors away!
Back off or I'll kill you. <laughs> I'm not afraid of dying. See, I've landed on Ord Skellig. How you figure that? You're wearing clan on crate colors. Ord Skellig's their island. On the Atropos, were you? Yeah. Thought the captain had a deal with you. With us? Meaning who exactly? Might have arranged something with Lugos, but crack? Nay. Clearly should have, though. Outlander ships aren't welcome in these waters. What about you? What do you seek in Skellige, eh? Agreed to meet a sorceress here. Yennefer of Vengerberg. She's supposed to be on Ord Skellig. There's a wetch at Kertrolda. Croc's guest. Could be the one you're meeting. Seen her? Know what the sorceress looks like? Aye. Where's black and white? If not for her tits, you think she was a beached orca? Fact is, even those who see her for a wench should gladly push her out to sea, tits and all. Yennefer's not all bad, once you get to know her. <laughs> Take your word for it. Know the way to Kertrolda? Expect I'll find it. Head north. Then turn west towards the bay before you come to the bridge. You'll find the Jarl port site today. Your sorceress ought to be there too. Thanks. So long. Place of power. Siren Den. Gotta ruin it for them.
That's it, Roach. Faster. Come on, Roach. Can't I pay today, Dad? We've got to go to the pool where the mother will be. I knew it was Our time amongst the living on, Roach. is but the wink of an eye. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. It is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side 
and face the sea together. That will be a good day. You knew Bran? Yes. He was well respected. Unlike his wife. Skellige is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Hope we don't have to go to this wake. Well, we don't have to go. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Stop reading my mind. Something to hide? Don't like secrets? No. Did you learn anything in Vellum? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Ard Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Syria was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. I shall wear black and white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Krak, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go, choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. Friends we show heart. Foes we show heart. What is it? Which are man in need? Come on, trim it. It's got to be ready in time for the funeral. Ah! Send us away with Brian. I'm going to get out of them. You can try it on their work. 
don't eat so much. Why the spit not? Because if it gets hit in the gut and those heritages get tangled in your entrails, no Mission no server came worthily. Should need us drink too much for a way to get After the rebel till you drop. And we'll all meet King Bran, the beast of his table, and sing his praise. You're ready. Ready to fight any time, even now. Like to have some words with the Outlander first? It's about my Erica. See her? I... I gotta win today. She's watching. I don't stand a chance against you. I know it well. But I was thinking, maybe you'd let me win. We'll do it like this. First fight, I'll take a dive. But then we'll go at it again. Best man wins. Enough of this chatter. Fight! By the rights of Morhog! Keep together! Not good. Valgord wins! Thanks. You're good with your hands. Hey, I am. Thinking of trying my hand. As soon as you're ready, come forth and speak up. Let's start. Well then, fight! Come on! Keep together! You've two bouts more before you can challenge for the title of Best in Skellige. You've got to defeat Einar, to be found on Pharaoh, and one Grim of Helmstein, a village on Ard Skellig. Good luck to you. This has got to be Yen's room. She always did like space and luxury. idea how she managed to bring so much clothing. Must have hired out a galleon. As usual, black and white.
wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Damn the black ones! Hey there, friend. What's the rush? Drink last night too. Got me, Lucas. Last night too. Bran was a great ruler. He needs a worthy successor. You speak as though you have someone in mind. Skellige's troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. I'm Geralt, a witcher. Berna. Queen of Skellige. I'm glad we've met, but you must forgive me. Judy calls. I can see you chose your own outfit. You know, of course, that together we look about as good as lace frills on a battle axe. Everyone's got their style. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him, we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Hmm? Your beard. Why did you decide to grow it out? Don't really know. Hmm. Must say it suits you. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnbald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. Wanted to meet the notorious Witcher, Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand, Blue Boy Lugus, Madman Lugus's firstborn, and choking down a stockfish over there is Otric on Hindar. years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. 
crack her da and her big brother Yalmer call a sparrowhawk a Yal's daughter she is. A fat lot of good it does it. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know that feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to crap about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now you mention it, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak, Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Shall we put some coin on it, Lugos? One, but only by a hair. No such thing. There's winning and there's losing, and I lost. We best go back to the weak. Let's. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? I lost. I lost to a Witcher Sparrowhawk. It'd likely happen to any of us. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. My god, we die the heroes. Face three weapons to us. Gun them as if it's on the issue. Force us, let us all throw it. On a cold, distant shore, across the wide, across the sea. 
Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Yaldona and Hinda, and Yal Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen. He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Thought Skelligers called a truce for feasts. I know the hallowed customs. But Lugos ought to know that I'll not let him raid my Hindus Fial bear. You don't scare anyone, Donor. I'll be boy soon to plow your priestesses, drink from your tankard, and shit on your table. Be sure to leave a candle lit for me. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully mouthy, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Calm down, Lugos. No wench will teach me how to fight. That was not my intention. Come, Geralt. I believe this discussion's run its course. Well, what is it? Just out of curiosity, why do they call you Madman? Yeah! That's one. Farewell, Lucas. What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We'll need it, and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it you'll decide when. Correct. behind the tapestry. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. 
I also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Had one at Care More and please. Looks alive. A basin of water? For teleprojection. A reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Feel them. Closer. They're everywhere. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Mind if we uh, never mention this again? Naturally. Doors open. We'll proceed as soon as you've collected trophies of your kills. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The Mask of Erberos must be here. Wondrous world of insectoids. Didn't expect Ritual this. Plant. Large female. Ah, what do you know? Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. A 
sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. Need something else. Gotta look around. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Child skull. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Dwarven Triple Mead. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Let's try again. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Geralt, come here! I found the mask! This is it. We've got it. We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> That? Smelled it. Gas. Grate still closed. Gotta think of something quick. The damned druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly! First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight.
I heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We will take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beyond. He must now choose his successor. A king must be wise. A king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth. Could not be here this day. Behold his axe. Behold his will. May the best man, a woman. Win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ciri was impossible to control. No telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, Gold, ships, anything. Merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. Need your help. Siri probably came here to Skellige. And very likely caused the cataclysm along the coast. The site upon which the druids focus so intensely now. A site Ermion refuses to let us explore. Specifically, he won't let me explore it. We fought. We're not friendly now. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Siri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, Art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Wondering if I should talk to Ermion. Leave that to me. Go. Seek and find your Cyrilla. If any ill befell her here on Art Skellig on my watch, I'd never forgive myself. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. 
at the usual spot. I have one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Undik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udelric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They've been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Artsgeleid. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It is true. At any rate, Yalmor decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oskar, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Yalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me, or her brother. Yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes. I ask that you explain things to her, and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugas would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Hjalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krach. I will see you later. <laughs>